All right guys, we're still at CS 2023 and this is probably the second video that's with MSI. And honestly, I wanted to do this dedicated because these two laptops are pretty unique in a way. Now, this is the GE78 Raider and honestly speaking, it's pretty much the top of the line Raider laptop and you can expect, well, the best in CPU and the best in GPU. So we're talking Intel Core i9, 13th Gen 13980HX, as well as up to RTX 4090 for graphics, and of course, plenty of RAM, plenty of SSD, all up to you. But the most interesting thing to note here is that for this particular model, MSI has gone ahead to kind of demo us the use of PCI Gen 5 SSD. And if you can tell from the Crystal Dismark test right here, we are getting read speeds of over 12 gigabytes per second and over write speeds of over 8 gigabytes per second. That is pretty insane. To give you some context, if you were to download a game on Steam talking, uh, without taking into account like internet connections and network speed and whatnot, if you're just solely talking about transferring a game or downloading a game, 12 gigabytes per second, you can probably download or transfer Modern Warfare 2 in just about 5 or 6 seconds? Less than 10 seconds, that's for sure. That's how fast a speed you are taking a look at. Of course, with that said, this is still temporary for now and there are a few challenges that MSI has to overcome before they actually offer PCI Gen 5 with this specific model. So, the GE78 Raider will be available come Q1, Q2 by 2023, but it will be shipping with Gen 4 SSDs, not Gen 5. So why not Gen 5? Well, the answer is usually brought down to three challenges that they were facing. First thing is the price. Gen 5 SSDs are still really much expensive and I don't think you really want to pay that much more even though it performs that much better. Well, how much better do you really need? Again, it is very much expensive just like DDR5 is right now. So that's one. Secondly, well, the demand isn't really there for it just yet. The whole industry is still really on to just PCIe Gen 4 and many of us, like myself included, we aren't really using PCIe Gen 4 SSDs as of yet. We are mostly just getting Gen 3 because they are so much value oriented. And in terms of speed, if you're just a general user, especially for gaming, you probably wouldn't notice it that much, except if you're a creator, that might mean other things, but for the general public, audience, yeah, PCI Gen 3 and Gen 4 are still very much capable. But here's Gen 5. And lastly, the most well, challenging thing that MSI needs to overcome and tackle is cooling. Gen 5 SSDs run really hot. Now, on this specific model here, MSI, one of the staff has mentioned to me that the SSD has thermal pads on the top and bottom of the SSD and it will touch the motherboard as well as the chassis side of things. So that helps to alleviate the, the heat somewhat, but it's still to the point where you can only really run the Crystal Disk Mark Bench test once every couple of minutes or so, because if you were running back to back, you wouldn't get these speeds. It would drop significantly, and that's just because of the cooling and how much heat it produces. So that's the third challenge and the main challenge that they want to overcome. On the desktop side of things, you can just get away with it because you don't have space constraint. As you can tell from some of the latest motherboards, the hitting on the first PCIe Gen slot are pretty thick nowadays. So it's not an issue so much so on desktops, but on laptops, you are space constrained. So you have to deal with it somewhat. So once MSI gets that out of the way, then will they offer the PCI Gen 5 SSD SKU available for us consumers to purchase. But for now, it will only ship with Gen 4 once it's available. So that's the one thing about Raider. Now, secondly, we want to talk about the Titan GT77. And this is pretty much just like the Raider, but it's their flagship, well, the best gaming laptop that you can get from MSI. And the main reason for that is one, the specifications, and two, this very display. Now, as for specifications, just like with the Raider, we are talking about an Intel Core i9-13980HX, up to GeForce RTX 4090 for the graphics, and as much RAM as SSD as you might want. But the killer here is that display. This is arguably the world's first 4K 144Hz mini LED display with over a thousand local dimming zones. So yes, this 
is a properly good display that's arguably better than OLED depending on how you're looking at it and it's just plain great. Now you might argue that 4K isn't really that sensible on a laptop but honestly now that Intel 13th Gen is on the table and with the RTX 4090 4K 60 frames per second or even 4K 120 frames per second on the latest AAA titles are now very much a reality more so than a dream just a couple of years ago. So with this, you can expect to really make full use of that display with all that power that you have. Now granted, now as you can probably tell, it does get quite loud when you have the fans on full speed but it really does keep that CPU and GPU cool. For context, this is the heatsink assembly on the Titan GT77 and it's a chunky beast. Blow fans and a multitude of heat pipes. There's even a unified heat pipe between the two and one just for the VRMs. So you can expect that temperatures are well taken care of. If you're looking for probably the ultimate in gaming laptop experience and you don't mind well, weight, design or anything else like that and you're just all for the performance and the visual experience either the Raider G78 or the Titan GT77 will probably be your pick this year now of course it's going to set you back quite a pretty penny so be prepared for that but you can basically only expect the best of the best with these two laptops well personally for me we are just waiting for PCI Gen 5 to become more prolific in the industry and with that we can see much more PCI Gen 5 SSD capable machines even down the range. So in any case, that was a quick look at these two laptops. We hope we can really get them in for review and we'll definitely do it should we have them. But for now, that's our first initial impressions. Pretty impressive and well, just jaw-dropping performance. If you like this video, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to us for more of such content. Don't forget to follow us on all our other social channels such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya!